In today's video, we're opening 50 vintage Yu-Gi-Oh packs. What's up guys, we're back with another epic vintage Yu-Gi-Oh opening where I have 50 old school packs. None of these are reprints or anything like that. The newest we have is Extreme Victory, that's 2011. So we're looking at old school packs in this video. I know a lot of you guys love the vintage stuff and of course I do as well. Let's hope we can pull some cards that maybe I can send for grading because I do need to build up some more cards to grade. I also lost some of my graded cards in the move. They're in a box somewhere. So I gotta find those at some point. But before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have Wing Karibo, first edition. We have Man Eater Bug, that is a reprint. And then we have Vampire Lord, from Rise of Destiny. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed to notifications. Let me know down below what we will pull out of these packs. Let's get into it. All right, let's get into this opening. And as we are doing this opening, I want to remind you guys, you guys will be seeing the little promo, but what's up guys? If you have not heard yet, tonight we'll be opening an LOB first edition booster box live on whatnot at 5 p.m. Central. It's going to be absolutely crazy because first of all, we're opening Legend of Blue Eyes first edition, one of the rarest boxes in Yu-Gi-Oh, probably the most expensive box. And we're also giving away a DDS Blue Eyes White Dragon. So obviously that's going to be pretty amazing. Anybody can enter that. You just have to have an account on whatnot. And if you have not yet signed up with whatnot use my $15 referral link down below you get $15 free if you use my link and it's your first time on whatnot you can use it on anything on whatnot not just on my stuff but anybody else on the platform it doesn't have to be Yu-Gi-Oh cards it can be anything it's going to be a pretty awesome time because we're opening one of the coolest boxes in Yu-Gi-Oh history I've only opened it a few times in my life and I'm lucky to have done that so I'm super pumped to do it again tonight so I hope to see you guys there come be part of it live on whatnot 5 p.m central tonight make sure to use that link if you haven't signed up with whatnot not before what not it's tonight first edition lob will be opening at five o'clock 5 p.m central so five hours ish after when you see this thing you know release this video usually we've been a little behind this week on our schedule i've been posting exactly at 12 I think it's probably three from the back. Extreme Victory does have a secret rare at Mystic Piper that's gone up to like 30 bucks. So we're hoping to pull that out of these. I think even Unlimited might be that much. So if we can get a first ad, that'd be pretty awesome. But I want to remind you guys, this is going to be one of the best streams we've done on whatnot. I mean, it's hard to beat the LOB through AST. That was amazing. But for this one, we're still going to be doing awesome stuff because it's first ad LOB only. Like, they're, you know, we're not worrying about other sets. It's just the original first edition Legend of Blue Eyes. It should be an amazing stream. I'm really excited. I'm really pumped. Oh, and did I mention, if you haven't seen already, DDS Blue Eyes being given away to one random viewer. Like literally all you have to do is have a whatnot account and be viewing the stream. Then all you gotta do is enter. Oh, there we go. First dead Aqua Neos, ultra rare. And that is one in 24 for ultra rare. So that is not easy to pull. I'll take that. So I think we just got a card that we could potentially grade. So that's exciting. I like that. I like grading those uh, those ultra rares, even though they don't get to crazy prices, but they're usually 100, 200 bucks if you get a PSA 10, which is pretty nice. Um, that one looks pretty clean. Let's see if the Lost Millennium can do the same. But yeah, make sure you, uh, you check out my WhatNot link down below. $15 free credit if you've never been on WhatNot before. If you have, then uh, you won't be able to get that. But you can still, of course, show up at the stream. It's going to be amazing. DDS Blue Eyes is not just for new, new users. It's for everybody. So just get in there. Make sure you have an account. It's going to be pretty awesome. Spark Man, I'm going to be pulling those out. Minefield Eruption and a DD Survivor. Very cool. I'm also really pumped to open the box because LOB first set, I don't get to open it that often. Compared to most people, I've opened it a lot. You know, we've opened like probably, what is it, like four boxes worth if you include the the LOB through ASD whatnot as well. Yeah, we're like four plus boxes because we've done a few packs here and there. So, and then we did one like open box and then, you know, the two boxes we've done before. So I've opened a lot of LOB first ed. I've never pulled the blue eyes. So you know what the ratio is? It's one in like five to six boxes. So we're getting to ratio. So I'm hoping that means I'm going to pull it soon. Battery charger and nitrogen. It'd be pretty cool to pull it for somebody on whatnot as well. So I think it should be an amazing time. It should be really exciting. Uh, we will have a, a video later of the of the opening if you are not able to make it. So don't worry, you'll still get to see the opening. But doing, I mean, being there live, getting the chance at the DDS, you definitely want to show up if you can. Bubonic Vermin, we have seven completed. Chan and Javelin, be there for when we pull the Blue Eyes White Dragon. That would be pretty awesome. White Tiger, we have Ground Collapse. Light of Intervention, Steel Grugrata number two, and Dimension Hole. Okay, Ferronic Guardian, give us some nice commons. We have 50 vintage packs, so we're probably not making our money back because vintage packs, they can be really tough to make your money back. But we're really just looking for some gradable cards, some nice commons, Dark Snake Syndrome. We want to get that Metamorphosis, uh, Maiden of the Aqua. We want to get Trap Dust Shoot. We didn't get any of those. Oh, but we did get a super barrel behind the door. Very 
very light hollow. It's just on the, uh, I guess this is a gun. I don't know what this thing is. It's like some sort of like dungeon trap or something. Like you open the door and it shoots you or something like Indiana Jones. All right, let's go back to Extreme Victory. We have a few Extreme Victory packs today. Let's see if we can pull something awesome like the Ghost Red that I've never pulled. That'd be pretty cool. It's like a very cheap Ghost Rare. I think it's probably less than 50 bucks, maybe even less than that, but I would still be pumped to pull it. A uh, Junk Servant, that used to be a money card actually. Wait, okay, never mind. Tour Guide would also be really good. Junk Servant used to be a couple bucks. I don't know if it still is. I think it got a reprint at some point. Probably in Gold Series, I think, because they did a lot of junk cards in, was it Maximum Gold where they had all the junk cards? I can't remember, but that could have been it. We have the Sabersaurus, Royal Writ of Taxation, Alien Skull, Rallus, Alien Gray, Fossil Excavation, Vehicroid Connection Zone, Destiny or Fearmonger and a Submarine Roid. I would love to pull that in ulti. I've said it many times. I'd be okay with that. It's a retail ulti and usually you don't want retail ultis, but that's one I would be down for. Submarine Roid, I really like. Lost Millennium, there's another elemental hero. That's fun. One, two, three, four. We've got the Monk Fighter, Medusa Worm. Double Attack, White Ninja, Sparkman. We've got Mindfield Eruption. Elemental Hero Clay, man. Pretty good pack. Two Elemental Heroes, Heat of the Fire Charmer and... Uh, Royal Surrender. So, so far, what is it? Two foils? Two foils. One from Ferronic Guardian, one from Power of the Duelist. So we're holding out hope that we will continue. Pull awesome cards, you know, pull more than just two, I hope. Four from the back on Pharaoh Servant. I really want a Buster Blader. Genzo's probably not in here. I think it's a retail pack. So it's Buster Blader, Thousand Eyes Restrict to the big two. Legendary Fisherman's not bad either. There's a few other ones like Premat. Uh, Grotto we have a Shaker, Mr. Volcano, that fiery finger. We've got Gradius, and we have Red Moon Baby. That I think they changed that to Vampire Baby, right? Okay, these are only a few left, so we're gonna save those toward the end. We'll start sprinkling those in. We've got First Ed uh, Labyrinth of Nightmare, by the way, today. So there's a couple of those. That should be pretty fun. First Ed L O N. I mean Gemini Elf, Magic Cylinder. You know, there's a lot of amazing stuff. Necrofear, Ruxin Special. We have Self Mummification, Reborn. Ta oh, that's a super. Reborn Tangu is actually, that might be money because of old formats coming back a little bit. Reborn Tangu was OP for a while. It, its effect was pretty crazy. You have to have multiple of them in your deck, but maybe we'll pull multiple in this opening. Who knows? Okay, that was pretty cool. Reborn Tangu, another pull. Extreme Victory has been pretty good to us. So I have a few of these packs that I got and we've been pulling consistently. I haven't pulled a Ghost Rare, obviously, or anything crazy like that. Ghosts are pretty, pretty rare in those kind of sets. One in 288. We have Blade Master, especially when it comes to old packs that are hard to find. We have Destiny Mirage. Emperor, we have Fossil Excavation, maybe Sarasaurus, Contact, and we have Wonder Garage and Alien Warrior, the Warrior Alien. Lost Millennium. Last time in another video, if you may have missed it, I think it was old versus new, I think. We pulled a pretty awesome card out of, out of Lost Millennium. So if you missed that one, go check it out. I won't spoil it. Uh, it was a pretty sick pull. I was pumped about it. Noosa Worm, Lone Wolf. I'm hoping we can pull something equally as cool in this video out of Lost Millennium with Percentrix is also very cool. Uh, gear Soldier and Gear Beast. So a lot of gears going on. Pharaoh Servant. Let's see what you can do with your Pharaoh Servant. Here we go. Give us something crazy. So far, Pharaoh Servant has given us essentially nothing. Earthshaker, Mr. Vulcan, and that Fiery Finger. I guess we've gotten the Fiery Finger twice, which I don't know if that's a good thing. Driving Snow, we have Armored Glass, Flame Champion, Respect Play. Garuchin, Kubagata, and the Morphing Jar number two. Have you noticed? Oh, well, first of all, terrible corner. They're way off center on the rares. This, the rares are not looking great out of this set. Let's do another, let's, no, let's do an Ancient Sanctuary. We haven't done a, an Ancient Sanctuary yet. I have three of these. AST, I mean, not like the craziest set ever or anything, but there's some fun stuff like Econ would be really awesome to pull. We have Sand Gambler. Chanted Fitting Room. Night Assailant would be good. Wall of Revealing Light, formerly like at one. I think it's up to two or maybe even unbanned now. Third Sark, we have the Oasis Micro Ray. Avatar of the Bot. This guy did not make it in the pot collection, which was a crying shame. Imagine having to like a figure of Avatar of the Bot. That would have been a game changer. That'll be in pot collection too. Back to Extreme Victory First Edition. Hopefully, you guys, this will be a long ish video, you know, because it's old packs. We're doing 50 of them. Hopefully, you're enjoying the longish video. Sitting back, relaxing, grabbing your popcorn. If you are, save some popcorn for tonight. LLB first dead. I don't want you guys to forget. Make sure you bookmark it. Ruxin third. Oh, yeah. Bookmark the stream and let's pull an ultimate rare junk berserker while we're at it. Oh, I forgot I did the pack trick wrong again. You got to do the different pack trick. Ultimate rare first edition. This is not a big money card, but it is the big, you know, is, is it the cover card? I don't even know if it's the cover card. I think it is. 
Okay, it is the cover card. It has the ghost, it has the ulti, it has the ultra. So getting this is pretty awesome, even though the price is not insane. All right, so yeah, as I was saying, make sure you bookmark it. Go to Ruxin34 on whatnot. There's like already like almost 400 bookmarks because people are pumped about this stream, but not everybody's heard about it. So if you were one of those people, make sure you bookmark. It's going to be a really awesome event. I'm pumped. I get to open it, which is always amazing. I'm super excited. Rescue Roby of Alien Gray. I just want to pull something amazing. You know, it's super fun to open LB. Fossil Excavation and uh, Spell Calling. Nothing in that one. So, and because of that, I was like, I'm opening LOB. Why not open some more old packs? You know, I'm just really spoiling myself right now, which these, hopefully we can get some good pulls to grade. We have Dummy Golem. These are first ed for the uh, Lost Millennium. Not Ancient Gear Golem is what I was going to say. Hopefully we get an Ancient Gear Golem. We have Death Wombat. We have Clayman. Very nice. Level Conversion Lab. And... Oh! An ulti! Ancient Gear B! So it's not a golem like we asked for, but it is an ulti ancient gear beast, which I think is one of the best ultimate rares in the retail packs that you can get. Let's go. That is sweet. This is one of the early ultis I pulled like way back in the day. I had lost millennium retail packs. I pulled one of these and I was like, this card is awesome. Check it out. Ancient gear beast. That is amazing. Let's just try to get an even better look at this. Wow, that is amazing. In a ulti, so not as good as like a European ulti or something, but they still look really, really nice. That will be a good card to grade. So I got to add that to some others that I've set aside and find those cards that I can't find. Literally, there's like 70 cards I was going to grade and I don't know where I put them. I put them in a box that we moved and somehow the box has not been opened. I cannot find it. We have Solomon Lawbook. We have Deep Sea Warrior. Regulation of the Tribe Skull Mariner. Cold Wave. Gamble and nobleman of extermination okay pharaoh servant now you have not been great front and guardian i think we can do one more right now ancient gear beast that's an awesome pull so far the pull's been pretty good two ultis i mean you can't ask for much more than that I almost dropped the cards one two three four we're on front and guardian right yeah okay order of the traveler shape snatch <sighs> the bow tie of destiny we have needle ceiling royal keeper grip keeper's curse banner of courage curse of aging yomi ship and Dark Jeroid. That's a classic, just like a uh, Battle City, like Rare Hunter kind of card. Okay. Woo! It's been a good opening. Let's keep it up. Okay, so the, the pack trick is three, four, swap maybe? Or is it three? This is where it normally is. Four, swap like that maybe? Let's try that. Okay, we have six style because I've been messing it up. ESP Amplifier. We have Kara Curry. TG Catapult Dragon, Tantrum. We'll find out if there's a foil in a random spot. TGX3 and a Mechlord Factory. So we won't find out that time because we didn't get a foil. Power of the Duel. So we might be opening it wrong for a while until we actually get one. POTD, first edition. What can you bless us with? All right, one, two, three, four. We have Bitelon, Ambulance Roid. We have Decoy Roid, Miracle Jurassic Egg. We have Rescue Roid, Synthetic Seraphim, Elemental Hero Neos. Orbital Bombardments and Neo Spatian, Flare Scarab. Not a great card. I mean, because supers and GX are usually not crazy valuable, but a foil is a foil. I'm not going to complain about that. That's nice. Lost Millennium. Speaking of, you've been pretty good to us, Lost Millennium. Can you continue that? We've got an Ancient Gear Beast. What other ultis do I want on here? DD Survivor probably would be a good retail ulti. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of options that are pretty decent out of Lost Millennium. Lawn, Lawn, Lawn Wolf. The wolf that's on the lawn. We have Hero Avian, not Lone Wolf. We have the Heat of the Fire Charmer and H Gear Beast back to back. That's kind of weird, but we got the better one just a second ago. Pharaoh Servant. Okay, we need to talk to you, Pharaoh Servant. Look, you have not held up your end of the bargain. Everybody else is pulling great stuff. You, on the other hand, are not pulling anything. So how about you turn that around right now, okay? Right now, you're going to get a good pull. We have Solomon's Law Book, Deep Sea Warrior, Kisitai, that little finger. We've got Uni Tank Rux and 34. Gotta pull that one out. Rux and special. We got Dark Fire Soldier number one. Four Star Lady Bug of Doom. We have a metal detector. Flying Comic Carry number two. And a wow, check out that centering. Gravity bind, way off center. Corners are really jacked up. Pharaoh Servant is just not showing up today. Let's go back to Extreme Victory. Oh, we do, oh, by the way, a first dead raging battle pack as well. So if that has a ghost rare in it, oh, we might not have a stream tonight because I might just be like passed out on the floor like what just happened. Hopefully alive. We have Linworm. We have Ceiling Ceremony, TG Jet Falcon, the Morphtronic Staplin. He's got a staple. Watch out, TGX. Dragon We have Mech Time Blast. Necro Defender and contact with Aqua Mirror. Sure, sure. That was not great. First ad POTD. We're doing the pack trick. We still don't know if it's correct on that one. The others are pretty simple. Three from the back, four from the back. That one, you got to swap stuff. It's crazy. We have the Rouse of Starbird. We have Shaber Shorish. 
Black Stego, Defender. Synthetic Seraphim. Amulet's Rescue Roid. Come on, give us Future Fusion. Alien Gray. The Accord Connection Zone. And... Okay, Overload Fusion would also be a really nice one. Unfortunately, uh, that's just the rare. So maybe next time we'll get the Ulti Overload Fusion. I would... Fusion. Not Fusion. Okay. Here we go, Lost Millennium. You've been pretty good so far. I have high hopes you can continue that. We have Impenetrable Formation. You have the Flame Wingman in here. That'd be pretty amazing. Mind Golem, win. Monk Fighter, which is the Flame Wingman PSA 10 is crazy. It's like 500 bucks, even in the Ultra. We have Avian. Yeah, not just the Ulti. The Ultra is crazy. Pikachu Second Sight, Death Wombat, and Grave Oha. The Oha Grave. Sure, Pharaoh Servant, I, I already gave you a talking to. You know you know what you need to do. One, two, three, four. I believe you can do it. We have the Four Star Ladybug of Doom. Metal Detector detecting that metal, and the metal will be a foil, right? You got the Metal Detector. It's a foil. Imagine if they had foil detectors for packs. That'd be bad. Flying Kami Kiri number two. We have Guido. Suppression, Burning Land, Dark Fire Soldier number two. By choose. And we have Mad Sword Beast with the piercing effect. What do they call it? Win this card with an attack that is higher than defense of your opponent's defense monster. Inflict the difference as battle damage to your opponent. Yeah, inflict the difference as battle damage. That's what they said. We've cooled down significantly. One, two, three, four. Swapity swap. Will that be right? Will it be a ghost rare? We have TG Warwolf. We've already gotten the Junk Berserker and Ulti. Why not? Okay, whatever we just did was not right, unless this is a major error pack, which would be pretty exciting. Esidari, okay, I don't think, yeah, whatever we just did was not the correct pack trick. There's there's the rare at the end, and there's the ultra rare that we pulled, which is cool. I mean, Esidari, that's a good pull. I think we pulled Esidari before in our extreme victory recently, but ultra rare is an ultra rare. I'm not mad, even though I did mess up the pack trick. Power of the Duelist, POTD, come on. I'm hoping for a big ulti. You haven't given us one yet. Got two ultis. Three ultis today would be pretty awesome. That'd be a nice opening. We have Black Stego. Brainwashing Beam. The Beam of Brainwashing. We have Alien Hunter. Common Soul. Crystal's Dolphin. The Paths of Destiny. Namulet's Rescue Roid. We have the Contact and uh, Supercharge. That is one you do not want to see as an ulti, and we probably will now that I said that. Lost Millennium. Come on. Just because you got an ulti doesn't mean you get the night off, all right? You don't get to just chill, okay? Just like tonight, LOB, I mean, we got to keep pulling. It's not just going to be one great pull. We got to pull every great pull. Well, everyone possible. King of the Skull Servants, we have level conversion. We got Sparkman, great pack here. We have the Doriata's Blessing and... Uh, oh, another ulti! Legendary Black Belt. So this is a, a cheap one. This is not one that's going to be crazy money. Uh, but hey, Legendary Black Belt, Ultimate Rare, pretty centered. Maybe I'll grade this, you know, because I think it's like a $5 near mint card if I had to guess. But, you know, PSA 10, there's probably not too many of them. So maybe we'll try that. Double ultis at a Lost Millennium. They're really showing up. That's pretty good. Three ultis, not bad. That's, I mean, the least interesting of the others. So far, we'd had two pretty interesting ultis. We got lucky. Uh, so if we can get one out of POTD, that's good. We'd be really happy. Pharaoh Server, we got Harpy's brother before it got changed. Rain Mercy, they said, no more brother for you. You're not the brother anymore. You've been disowned. Sold to the Forgotten. We have Gust, Insect Barrier. Oh, Rex and Special, past the Magic Drain. Okay, that's a rare. Let's do a Pharaonic Guardian Unlimited. Here we go. PGD. Can we finally get a good common here? One, two, three, four. Oh, there we go. There's a good common. Metamorphosis. We did get one. Okay, let's get the uh, Trap Dash shoot now or made another Aqua. Gravekeeper's Guard. Mucus Yoke. Another good one's Gravekeeper's Spy. That's pretty decent. We have Pyroclock of Destiny. Different Dimension Capsule. And Reckless Greed. So Reckless Greed isn't bad either, but Metamorphosis, definitely the best pull there. Okay, Extreme Victory. Let's try to figure this out. So... The last pack trick did not work in our favor, okay? It was completely wrong. So, one, two, three works. Then, let's think about this. It ends up being the foil being here and the rare being here. So, we go like that. Okay, there we go. We have Mechlord. That's got to be it. Scrap Kong. It's going to be a ghost now because we figured it out. Elder of the Six Samurai. TGX1 HL. Gladiator Beast Tigarius. We have Psychic Reactor. Okay, I think we might have did it right. Might have done it right. Soundproofed. And six style dual wield. We won't know for sure until we actually pull a foil, but I think we may have done it right. There we go. May have done it right. Not might have done it right. Not may. Whatever I said the first time. Might have did it right or something. I don't know. One, two, three, four. Come on. Common soul. Saber Swords. Give us an ulti. Come on, Power of the Duelist. You've been slacking off. We did get an Aqua Neos, which is pretty cool. Alien Gray. Fossil Excavation. Ecore Connection Zone. And Alien Mother. We have not pulled a lot of supers. We only pulled like one or two, which is pretty strange. I believe in you, TLM. You're a great set. You're going to have a third ulti. We have also the Earth Charm. We have Impenetrable Formation, White Ninja, Dummy Golem, Ancient Gear Soldier, 
Gift of the Martyr, Battery Charger, Elm Zero Spark Man, and... Oh! Another ulti! Three ultis. Only had 10 Lost Millennium Packs, by the way. So 36 packs worth of ultis out of 10 Lost Millennium Packs. Spell Stopping Statue. We got whoever this is, Moses or something going on. I'm not sure who that's supposed to be. The Imperial Order guy. I don't know. Well, I guess Solemn Judgment guy is, is probably more like Moses. I don't know who that guy is, but okay. That is okay. Wait, do I only have one? I think I did this wrong somehow because I have three Pharaoh Servant, only one Lost Millennium too. Yeah. I went to the Lost Millennium at some point, but so we're three out of nine. So nine packs have pulled three ultis. That's pretty absurd. That's also not a big money one, but still really cool. We have Gust, Insect Barrier, Spike Bots, Time Zero Magic Crusher, Twin and Fire Dragon, Invitation to a Dark Sleep. We have Mystic Probe and we have Dimension Hole. Arrow Servant continues to slack off. Ancient Sanctuary. Can you pick up the slack for your Servant Pharaoh? Let's go. One, two, three, four. We have... Wall of Revealing Light. We have a Rocket Jumper, Light of Judgment, Monster Gate, Three on Placuda, Earthquake, Piranha Army, Human Wave Tactics, and okay, Talisman of Spell Sealing. Nothing too crazy. So you did not pick up the Slack Ancient Sanctuary. All right, we're getting towards the end. I think we can open a first Dead Labyrinth of Nightmare now. We have two of these, so let's open this one first. Hoping for Necrofear. Uh, of course, Last Warrior from Another Planet. See, any either of the Secret Rares would be great. Gemini Alpha, Magic Cylinder. Uh, Mass Beast is really good. One, two, three, four. Any of those would be great. Revival Jam's a huge card in PSA 10, even as a super. So that'd be great. We have Aqua Spirit. We have Spirit Elimination. Skull Lair. Hysteric Fairy. Come on. Spirit of Flamis. We have Lightning Blade. Guru of the Wind Spirit. Come on. First set LON. Fifth set in Yu Gi Oh! History. The Emperor's Holiday. Give us something good. Oh, a Mask of the Accursed. That's a super that is not very well centered. So I don't think it's going to be grading super well, but a super out of one pack. I mean, I'm not going to be super mad about that. Get it? Super mad. That is a beautiful looking card. Mask of the Accursed is pretty iconic too from the anime and stuff like that. Plus, you know, burn decks and stuff back in the day. It was pretty annoying first at and in Duel Links for sure. That's when I experienced it mostly. Okay, three and then do a flippity, flippity flip. Let's get a ghost rare. Come on. Cards settle down. Oh, Ruxin Special. Mech Time Blast. We have Kamakuri. We have Amplifier. We have Factory. Lantron. Esper Girl, TG Recipro Dragonfly, and Mech Lord Army of Wazel. Nothing that time. Power of the Duelist. Come on, baby. One, two, three, four. We oh, yeah. have Mausoleum of the Emperor, Miracle Jurassic Egg, Alien Skull, Royal Writ of Taxation, Destiny Hero Fearmonger, Rescue Roid, Orbital Bombardment, Black Terra, and Dark City. That'd be a cool ulti as well. We just can't get anything out of Power of the Duelist right now. Let's go right to Pharaoh Servant. We'll be at one of each pack left. We'll get that open that Raging Battle pack too. One, two, three, four. Come on, Pharaoh Servant. Or, yeah, Pharaoh Servant. Respect play. Come on, give us something. Grujiku got to no foil so far out of the Pharaoh Servant. World Suppression. We have Burning Land. Dark Fire Soldier number two. Bite Shoes. Oh, magic drain. So 0 for 9 so far on Pharaoh Servant. That's not great. Okay, let's just start from the beginning. Let's go back to Extreme Victory and we'll just go straight through. First edition. Here we go. Last chance at the Ghost Rare today. Two, three. Do a little flippity flip right here. Flippity flop. We have Unknown Synchron. We have Scarlet Security. Axe Dragonute. ESP Amplifier. The Tigarius. Come on, give us something. Factor. We tie in Tantrum. We want that Ghost Rare. Tour guide would be great as well. I'm going to be mad about that. Psychic feel zone and Aurora Paragon. That looks like the Rainbow Dragon structure deck. It has like that same vibe to it. Interesting. So nothing there. We did get an ulti out of there today, so I can't be mad. We also did get a super there too. Power of the Duelist, you've kind of slacked off. You pulled an Aqua Neos Ultra at the beginning and then you just decided to coast the rest of the way. You have maybe pulled one super sense, so you're two for nine. You're not great. Just pulls on the big. What in the world is going on with these cards? These look used. Okay. All right. Wait a second. These cards look like they've not, they've been out of a pack before, if you know what I'm saying. So there's the other cards there. Okay. Let's just lay those down. Let's flip this around. Let's just see about these cards. We have Rescue Roid. We have Synthetic Seraphim, El Neos, and Shocker. No foil in this pack. So these cards look pretty, pretty new. And then these do not. I haven't noticed this on any of the other packs so far, but those cards are very played and these are not. So that's a little sketchy. That could be a sign of a reseal. 
That is a little interesting. We'll have to keep an eye on some of the other packs, but that's pretty strange. But we have pulled some foils, so it's not like we haven't pulled any, but you never really know, like, if somebody resealed some and then, like, just threw in a couple of heavy packs or something like that. That could be a thing. When you buy loose, that can happen, and it kind of sucks. So you just have to be wary of when you get packs from people, and if that result happens, maybe next time you don't get it from them. So that's a little sketchy. Uh, fortunately, we haven't gotten, like, nothing in this video, but... I've, I was wondering if some of these packs, because like last time we opened some, we didn't get great ratios. I mean, ratios you can't really be sure unless it's a big amount, so it's kind of hard to tell, but these Lost Millenniums look pretty good and three ulti, so I think we're doing fine on Lost Millennium. We have Avian and Token Feastable, but when you see something like that, you just got to be, be wary of what could be happening. All right, Ancient Sanctuary. I mean, today we've pulled pretty well. The weird thing is we haven't pulled a lot of like non ultis, which ultis are harder to weigh and stuff like that. But if it's resealing, then like, you know, obviously they could pull anything they want out of there. So and these are all these are from different sources. So some may be messed with, some maybe not. Dust Barrier. We have Sonic Jammer. We have Pharonic Protector, Rux and Special, Solar Flare Dragon, Law of the Normal, Metal Armored Bug, Solar Ray and OK, Thousand Energy. So Ancient Sanctuary. You didn't get anything too crazy. I think we do Phronic Guardian next and we'll do these last three. Pharaoh Servant's gonna have these. The Pharaoh Servant though, we've seen how like worn those corners are and stuff. Who knows, if you go 0 for 10, that might be something you gotta worry about. One, two, three, four. We've got Pyramid Energy, Bottomless Shifting Sand, Dark Dust Spirit. Man, with the Witch Hat, we have Time Eater, Needle Wall, Reasoning, Master Kianchi, and Dark Designator, very nice. Three packs left. Pharaoh's Servant being one of them. Look, guys, don't forget about tonight's stream. 5 p.m. Central. What not? We're opening a sealed first edition Legend of Blue Eyes box. So hopefully no shenanigans will be happening with that. We will find out live. Uh, should be pretty normal. It looks pretty good to me from what I've been able to look at. Hopefully it's awesome. DDS Blue has been given away either way. So make sure you're there tonight. Get $15 free credit with my link. Make sure you use it. It's in the description. It's in the pinned comment. Here we go. We have Light of Intervention. Give us a Buster Blade or Shaker. If we just get one big card, I'm happy. Fiery Finger. Third time, we have Infinite Dismissal. Bubonic Bur Berman, not Berman. We have Javelin and Dimension Hole. So another, These, this looks pretty clean. So the card looks fine. Over 10 on Pharaoh Servant, not great. Let's do a Raging Battle first, Ed. Ghost Rare Potential in here. One pack magic. I mean, it's very unlikely, but if it does happen, we lose it. All right. One, two, three. I'm guessing this is the flippity flip. I think that's what happens in Raging Battle. Let's see. First edition. There's a lot of good cards in here. Master Gig. We have Natural Tune. Quakimiro Doom. We have Quakimiro Guardian. Is there a little, little slick? We have the Kalut the Moon Shadow. Over Doom Line. We have Reckoned Power. Dark Verger. Did I do it right? Phoenix Seed Seed. We'll never know because I didn't pull the foot. All right, guys, if you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Of course, check out the live stream at 5 p.m. tonight. Last Pack Magic, first edition, Labyrinth of Nightmare. Let's get something amazing. Last Pack Magic, one, two, three, four. Come on, give us Revival Jam. Give us an Ultra. Give us a Secret. Miracle Dig, let's do it. We have Conger. We have Dancing Fairy. Worm Drake. We have the Guardian. We have Offerings to the Doom. Last Pack Magic, Milk of the Four Face Beast. Let's do it, Zombie of the Dark. Come on, baby, give us something good. Fire Princess! All right, we'll take it. Two foils. Two for two on Labyrinth of the Nightmare. That's pretty awesome. You can't really ask for more than that in first ed. Centering looks like Labyrinth of the Nightmare. It's not horrible, horrible, but it's not great. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffin Zadoom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Another Toy Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.